Got a really cool adventure that I've been waiting over a year and a half to do. Me and my buddy are heading down to Virginia to fish the James River with a guide. Like I told you guys earlier, I feel like I'm on vacation all the time. But we're hoping to get on some good smallmouth. Should be fun. Stick with us. Holy sh just caught my PB smallly throwing a buzz bait at night, dude. Holy sh dude, are you serious? Are you serious? Oh my God, dude, there's no way this just happened. That's the biggest bass of my life, dude. Look at that freaking tank. Holy shit. That thing is every bit of 21. Yeah, you know, I don't think people realize how, how much work goes involved. Either. Shotgun. Good water level for crankbait today. How many miles are we going? Six river miles. Six river miles. I got you. Oh, got off. Yeah, little guy. Yeah. Oh, he got off. Oh, oh, man. You got your hands full right now. They're out of that time. Yeah. I don't think so. He just feels like a giant. Yeah. Boat flips only. He didn't want nothing to do with the jerk bait. Mm. These were about the size I was catching yesterday. Bumpy. See, you, bud. Just can't get all the stars to align. Got him. Yep. Yeah. Think nope. I mean, he's got heart. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and hooks so in his head. Ask me that question. Is it any good? I'm like, yeah, there's no such thing as a bass smile. See you later, bud. Should be one there to hammer it, man. Yeah, it's a money looking spot. I don't catch a lot of small, small mouth on jerk baits, man. Maybe they don't, they don't want the chrome flash, man. I don't think they want it yet, but they will. Especially in the lower part of the river. So once we get past that. Oh, got him. I said I don't think they want the chrome. Too soon. He feels nice in this current. Yeah, you need a net? Nah. He ain't, I don't think he's that big. He hasn't started fighting yet. It's a nice fish. I barely got him hooked. Get in here, dude. Take those all day long. Man. Yeah. Doesn't matter as long as you get in the boat. Dude. Yeah, still thick little, Beautiful. nice small. Yeah. Heck yeah. I love the red eye. And I love those tiger stripes. This faster current, I like moving baits. I, do too. I am absolutely. Got him. There you go. Uh oh. There come the tiger. Little guy. Tiniest fish in the river. <laughs> fish? Yeah. That's it. They're all good. Got him. All right. On the jerk bait. I think I think jerk bait's gonna be the way to go in moving water. It's a nice fish. Thank you. Thank you. Thank there you. you. Go. Another nice smallie on a jerk bait that I painted. Check that out. Dark fish. See you later, buddy. So we're at the halfway point. We've been on some, some fish, caught about 15, 17, something like that so far. Nothing of any size quite yet, but we still got another three miles left. So plenty of time to catch a, a big fish. I'm just kind of enjoying it out here with Rob and Rob. Rob's the guide back there. Appalachian Bronzeback Adventures, I'll leave a link to his uh, website. You can book a trip with him awesome guy to work with taught me a lot of stuff so far i've fished the river for a real long time and he's even taught me some stuff so i appreciate it buddy but, but we're going to get on some more fish here hopefully catch a giant stick with us we got a cool little spot to stop at for some lunch the guide here calls it the flintstone living room and here's why cool little setup got some seats a little fire pit cool little spot right on the river. I've never fished in Virginia before, but I think I'm definitely gonna to have to come back 
scenery here is incredible. The water clarity is clear. The small mouth population is out of this world. What's your favorite part about living here, Rob? Uh, well, the fishing is fun. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously the fishing, yeah. And I just decided, I always wanted to do this full time. And I just decided, you know, it's now or never. It's time to do it. And I, like I told you guys earlier, I feel like I'm on vacation all the time. I mean, it's so beautiful it's, out here. I wish I had like a whole week to spend out here. Yeah. And like, well, you can always come back and spend a whole week. I want to for sure. Maybe next time we'll go after some musky, dude. Yeah. Got him. All right. Good spot. <laughs> Good fish. Eh, it's all right. It's about the same size. Maybe a little smaller. Come on, pull. Pull, buddy, pull. He's bulldogging me. He's net. Nah. Boat flip. Nice yeah, he's a thick one. A little chunky river small mouth number what 10, 15 or something like that. I'd say we're probably at 16. Let's guess. Yeah, alright. Didn't make a liar out of me. <laughs> number 19, one more to 20. Uh -huh. right, you gotta be you're gonna have to make your cast has to be really good here because there's a lot of overhangs and snag. Oh, got him. Nice. Came up and eat it. Anything to it? Nah. Fish number 3,201. Yeah. Number 20. Yep. Number 20, baby. That was cool. It's so cool when they come up and eat it. I want that juice spot right under there. That was a horrible cast. Good thing I'm not quitting my day job. Got him. There was another one chasing it, dude. He wasn't bigger, though. My wife calls it whisper beans. Where are you, where are you crawling at? Here we go, boys. See, this one's actually, I think, harder. A big balcony. Because of multiple turns. Yeah. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> Get Watch that rock right there. Yep, yep, yep. Come on, come on. Come on. Uh, come on. You, got uh, you got this, you got this, you got it, you got it. You got it. Uh. Another day at the office, man. <laughs> All right. You guys should get something out here. I'm not going to stand up for this one. Got him. There you go. You think him? No. Ooh, that's not bad. Got a little jump to him. Yeah. Finally, number 24. Yep. You called, it. you called it, man. Took a while. This one came on my micro jig. PB&J micro jig with the TRD bugs. Yeah, we rarely ever not catch fish here. Little guy. Still fun. See you, bud. That's a good one. All right. They'll eat frogs and buzz baits all day long. Yeah. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, we got a big one. Ooh, ooh, that might be a musky right there. Jesus. I don't, he's going to spool me, dude. That's a musky. Ah, oh, broke me off, dude. Did he break me off? No, I got my bait. Oh my God. That was a musky. That didn't feel like no small jaw. <laughs> no, that wasn't a small mouth. I can't believe I probably just had a muskie on this little PB&J micro jig that I made myself. I haven't used this trailer in like six years and I just started running out of other trailers to use. So this is a Z-Man 
TRD hogs and yeah <laughs> biggest fish of the trip on the final stretch and I missed it oh well win some you lose some we had an incredible time down there in Virginia for a few days that we spent chasing some nice smallmouth bass I didn't get a whole bunch of big ones but I got the one big one that I was after the whole goal behind this trip is to get my personal best smallie and I got it on the very first night I finally got a smallmouth over 20 inches, so that was another goal. If you guys didn't see the very first video, I will leave a link in the description so you guys could check it out. The scenery on the James River was, I would say arguably the most pristine and beautiful river that I have ever floated down personally. We had a blast down there floating on the guided trip with Rob from Appalachian Bronzeback Adventures. I will leave a link in the description for you guys to check out. Highly recommend them. And I will also leave a link for you guys in the description where I stayed at, where I camped at. Awesome campsite. Tons of privacy. Made some really good memories. And I want to go down there again either this fall or maybe next year, next spring, next fall. But next time, I want to chase some muskies. I appreciate you guys watching. If you do like this video, show me some love and smash the thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button right there and that little bell as well so you guys can get notified when I drop a new video. I got an awesome video coming up. Not just one. I got numerous awesome videos coming up that include catching some big smallmouth on some big buka bull shad swim baits. We'll catch you on the next one. 